All right, here we are back again with Unit L Review Capacitance Parts 2. Let you in on a little secret. I don't write this thing out all, all over again. I just put, I change the 1 to the 2 each time. Hey, to spice this up, rather than give you a demo, I'll just let you see my kitchen. There's my kitchen. Da 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 da. Whoa. There's my kitchen. All right, so see, it was worth it watching this video. All right, next one. Let's see. All right, so we have a 12 volt battery, and this 12 volt battery um, is connected to a one ferry capacitor. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, the battery is going to remain attached to the circuit the entire time, and we're going to insert a a, a material, an insulator that has a dielectric constant of 2. Okay, it's going to have a K of 2. What happens to all these quantities? What's going to happen to the capacitance when you do this? It's, it's going to remain connected. What will happen to the charge on the capacitor? What will happen to the voltage across the capacitor? What will happen to the electric field between the plates? And what's going to happen to the energy stored in the capacitor? All right, go ahead and pause. All right, we're back. Um, so by now, the, the idea is that you have answers to all these, do you? Okay, I hope so. Because what's going to happen to the capacitance, capacitance is um, K epsilon naught A over D. And since we doubled the K, I put a 2 there, the capacitance is going to be doubled. Okay, uh, how about um, the charge? Well, the charge, if the capacitance is doubled, then the charge, since the voltage will remain 12 volts, the charge is going to double. Because um, CQ equals CV. And since the C doubled, the Q is going to double. The V, as I said, stays the same. It's unchanged. And that's because of the loop rule. When you go up 12, you got to come down 12. Okay, the electric field is what's going to happen to the electric field there. Well, our electric field will stay the same. Um, here's, my, here's my argument for that. The electric field is the voltage divided by the distance between the plates. Well, the voltage is still 12 volts, and the distance between the plates hasn't changed. So the electric field stays the same. And then the potential energy is what's going to happen to the potential energy. Well, let's see. I'm going to use this equation for potential energy to work this out. Since the voltage hasn't changed because of the loop rule, I'm going to use this formula, 1 half CV squared. And so since the, the voltage remained the same, if C doubles, then the energy doubles. Okay, I would like to just say one thing about the electric field here, why it remained the same. You might think, well, how could it have remained the same? Because the sigma, you'd think that the sigma over epsilon naught is the electric field. And hasn't the charge increased and I would tell you yes the charge has increased in there but uh, what happens when that charge increases is what happens in the dielectric when you put that in there here's here are your two plates and um, this one's charged positively and this one's charged negatively well when you put the dielectric in then sure enough, you get more charge. Boom, 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 more charge comes here and here. But um, that, but this polarizes. This gets little positives and negatives here. And so what happens is the field, sometimes the, some of this field ends at the, at the molecule. Some goes through, but some ends on the molecules. And so even though we have more charge, we, the field stays the same. All right, next one. Okay, this time we are going to detach the battery. So we charge this up, and then the battery is detached. 
we take it away. Now, what that means, the way another way of saying that is the capacitor is isolated. An isolated capacitor is one where the charge isn't allowed to, to leave. Okay, we insert a material of K equals 2, and what happens to these quantities? What happens to Q? What happens to C? What happens to V? What happens to the electric field? And what happens to U, the energy stored in the capacitor? Go ahead and pause this and try, try and figure these out. Okay, we're back. Well, if the capacitor is isolated, then the Q stays the same. It has nowhere to go. But the capacitance goes up by 2. It doubles because of the equation. Because of this equation. We've, we've increased K by 2. or We've put a K of 2 in there, and that makes the capacitance double. Okay, now the voltage... Uh, doesn't have to stay the same this time. And so if our C doubles, in order to have, in order to have a, a voltage that, uh, or the, in order to have the same charge, then uh, let's use this equation, V equals Q over C. And where did that come from? That's from C equals Q over V. Now if the Q stays the same and the C doubles, if I put a 2 here, that means that the V halves. So it's half. It will be half of its original. Okay. Now that means then that the electric field, since the electric field is um, the voltage divided by the distance between the plates, if the voltage is halved, then the electric field is also halved. It's, no, it's only half the, the amount. Again, the reason for that is because some of those lines, some of those lines, uh, those field lines are ending at the molecules and the dielectric. So some go through all the way. There's a nice picture of this in your book. But some of them stop right at the, right at the, um, the, the molecules that are polarized. Okay, and the energy, let's see, I'm going to use um, this equation for energy, 1 half, um, 1 over C Q squared. And the reason I'm using that is because the Q remains unchanged, so that's, that's a wash. And so whatever happened to C, C doubled, so U goes down by a factor of, of 2, so U is halved. It's half of its old. So same, doubled, halved halved and halved. All right, moving right along here. I think I can get one more question in. Okay, now we hook up this, um, this circuit, 12 volt battery, one ferret capacitor, and uh, the battery is going to remain attached and we pull the plates apart to 2D. So we're going to actually take these while it's attached. It's remaining attached. We're going to pull the plates apart to 2D. What happens to these guys? What will happen to all these guys? This, the capacitance, the charge, the voltage, the electric field, and the potential, the potential energy. Okay, go ahead and pause and, and really try this now. Okay, so um, let's see what happens to these. The capacitance, when you pull the dis the the plates apart by two times, then this being um, K epsilon naught A over D, I'm thinking that this halves because, because you put a two there. Okay. Now because it's hooked up to the battery, that means that the charge is also going to half because the charge is CV. And so um, the voltage stays the same since charge is CV. And the voltage stays the same, then, but this went down to half. The Q is also half. So when you pull those apart, you charge the battery up a little bit. Okay, the voltage is going to stay the same. That means the uh, electric field, since it's voltage over distance, we made D twice as much, so the electric field is only going to be half. And finally... Um, the potential energy is one half C V squared, and the V hasn't changed, but C is half, so this will be half.